Okay, here we have a large Hexbug Nano V2 maze setup. And I've got here six Hexbug Nano V2 bugs, the bugs that can climb vertically. And I've got myself a mixture of next Nano V2 sets and some older Nano V1 sets. And you'll see some familiar one-way flip gates and the raceway flags that allow me to have a, uh, an indication when there's a bug going past this section of track. So let me just talk through the quick plan. This is the end winning cell. So let's see which of these first six bugs can get to this end cell. Hopefully we get more than one winner, but the first will uh, will certainly be the champion. They're all gonna start in this little play area here. I've got three cells, including a couple of horizontal and a vertical roller. And we're going to, with a few flip gates, a few one-way sets, gonna keep dropping bugs back to the beginning. So this is where they all start. And in no particular order, let's get them going. So. They've all got fresh batteries. They should all have some good oomph to them. And let's just see how long it takes these guys to find the way through to the end cell. Now it's not as easy as it looks, and I'm going to talk about various behaviours as they go through. The yellow bugs will be making a good way up to the first level. Now on that first level, he's actually got to go back across and the pink guys join him and the green guys join him. So actually there's three bugs already doing quite good. Now with any game you play these X bugs and you can hear by that noise, he's gonna give him a little prod. You need to interact. These guys fight, they squabble, they like to get jammed up. And you gotta, you know, you don't just sit back and participate. You have to sit, you have to participate, sorry, you don't just get to sit back with these guys. That green guy now into a slightly more precarious area. He can actually, if he comes out into this part, drop down back to the beginning with his friends down here. The pink guy is joining him. However, if they're lucky, they'll actually go up all the way to the watchtower. And from the watchtower, they'll loop back and get to this third level. And only from the third level can they actually loop around and, and get to the black hole. And only by going through the black hole have they got a chance, a one in three chance, of getting to the exit. So it's really quite rare, and you already saw there, one of the bugs fail, fell through, fell down, back to the beginning. Okay, the green guy is now up on the watchtower. He's doing a circuit, he's going back down, that's exactly the idea. Now he's on to the third level, so he's got a chance. He's gonna get those guys back in play. The pink and the grey push them out, the bullies up the are. Now I've got here a roundabout, deliberately put in place to distract them. So this green guy is getting very dizzy as he spins around and around. He's only got a one in three chance of actually going up and over to the black hole. Um, the other exit will get him back to the watchtower, which he'll loop back down again, or down this old version one spiral where he'll go back down to the lower level where currently the white, the yellow and the orange are fighting for position. They're trying to catch him. Now the green guy's managed to free himself from the roundabout on all on his own. Sometimes it takes a nudge and here we go. We've got our first contester where he's got a chance, one in three, of actually winning. Let's watch this green guy come around and drop into the black hole. Where's he gonna go? Unlucky. Now he's on his side, so unceremoniously he's now a loser. He's going back down the drive of shame. He's gonna get his way through the warm way flat, and he's back to the end. Now there's a white bug stuck, same place that the green bug was. And I've also got a yellow bug on the watchtower that seems to need a little helping hand because there's a white grey guy behind him who's uh, completely, completely caught him. So let's just get those two going again and there goes the grey and the yellow. So they're back to the third level. Now, this is interesting, this almost never happens. So these are flip gates in these fantastic junctions. And what happened was because the white bug was coming up, it had pushed already the flat gate into the up position and therefore the yellow bug didn't get to go where he really wanted to go. He ended up coming straight down rather than looping back to this area to have another chance. So although things look one in three chances, etc., 50-50, whether they go this way or that way, let's just watch this white bug. Again, unlucky and ceremoniously on his back this time and now on his side, back to the beginning. So unceremoniously, the, uh, the bugs can, when they fall over the black watchtower, the black hole, sorry, it is a bit of a, an evil drop for them. Inevitably, they're um, going to be on their sides or possibly on their backs. I'm just sorting out the pink and the gray bug. They didn't overtake too friendly there. 
But when they drop down the bottom, they've got a one in three chance of going each direction, and they only need to go this way to be the winner. Let's see which one's going to win. The green, the grey and the pink bug are doing well. The green guy's been on this side for a little while, needs a friendly help. Now I'm not sure whether I'm going to help him or they're going to let one of the other bugs help him. Now the yellow bug is uh, trying his darndest to get through the uh, two, there we go, the two vertical rollers and he did so very well. But on his side, and the orange bug is going to do the same. Now they absolutely can get through these vertical and the horizontal roller unaided. So I'm going to let them play about down there. If these guys aren't going to get themselves in their feet, that's, they're not going to be the winners. The pink guy is uh, once again back on the third level. Let's see how he's doing. He's managed to bypass the roundabout. And here he goes. He's going for the black hole. So he's upside down, coming through a little snake S bend I've got here, going for the black hole. And wow, we have set ourselves the first winner. Well done, pink. Nano V2 bug, he's setting off the victory flags. And here he is on his side, rather than ceremonious. I'm going to put on his feet because I think he deserves a little loop around here, a little uh, celebratory clap and round of applause for the pink Nano V2 bug that managed to navigate this quite complex ma maze and beat all these other guys who are now all on their side, drunk with shame. As the other Hexbug Nano V2 celebrate the Pink Nano's victory, I'd just like to end by thanking you for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe and comment.